like we work at lightning speed but we need a lot of rest because we can't do it all of the time Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a day in the life, just making some oats in the microwave and having my fulvic acid in the morning. I'm trying a new fulvic and humic acid, don't know that I like it but you know, you got to trial and error these things. So today I'm going to be just doing a normal day in the life lately, which is going to include a support call for my Become a Healer course people. If you want to become an energy healer, would highly recommend joining that course. It is so windy today. Tessa, come on. It howled with wind all night. Life goes on. I always feel disheveled in the morning. Projector life. <laughs> and then I have to do an energy healing for someone post-vaccine. I'm going to do some dance and choreography because, of, as you might have seen in my last videos, I'm coming out of retirement. Retirement <laughs> for choreographing contemporary dance. I just had a shower. I've got water in my ear. And then I'm having a chat with my friend who is also an entrepreneur and we are doing a business numbers accountability thing that we do every couple of weeks. So porridge is ready. I'll see you soon. Oracle card reading. Those are the cards for today, so let's see what today has in store for us. So I just done my Become a Healer support call, that's what it's called. And I've done an energy healing. I've taken my husband to go and meet his friends. I've been to the beach. I didn't actually get out because the weather is disgusting. And we just come home and I realized that I forgot to record that I was meant to be vlogging. So now I am going to clean the floor. I know, exciting, right? And <laughs> then I'm going to try and get some creativity in try and do some dance choreography and just like move my body choreograph some dances and it's not going very well I feel like I need to just like learn how to be in my body again I've also done some ballet today and just realized how weak I am <laughs> my legs are like shaking trying to hold them in the air and I was like oh my gosh I didn't realize just how weak they were so packs of coming out of retirement and when I say coming out of retirement I mean like I still, I want to get back to that level that I was at, but I'm well aware that if I'm not surrounded by other people who are on that level, it's going to be very difficult to get there on my own. 
and the other thing is like being a projector I've realized that like when I was either at my dance school when I was a kid or um, at university or in you know my full-time dance course or studying abroad or wherever I was I was surrounded by sacral beings and so taking in their energy and so potentially I need to change the way that I train from like doing you know four or five hours a day to like one hour a day and making that sustainable for me as a projector and as someone who's <laughs> not very strong anymore. Just a couple of thoughts around that. I've been doing Wim Hof and I can now say that like one month in, my mental health and the way that I feel in my body, oh my God, everyone should be doing Wim Hof. It's incredible. I hope this is an, an interesting vlog. I don't actually know if it is or not. She writes like she moves to further and from a diary. So she's got like, Eight years ago today, now I'll call. I'm currently just watching the Olympics in bed, trying to get warm after my ice bath. <laughs> Drinking tea out of my awesome mm, go first, oh, can you see that? Go first and the universe will catch you mug. And you can get that in my website, link in bio to the shop. Just posting on social media while watching the Olympics, the Winter Olympics. I have been reflecting today on how I manage my energy as a projector and I talked a little bit about this before with the dance training, but also throughout my day when I know what I have going on, I'll like space them out so that I can have rests in between and so that I can like allocate my energy to different tasks during the day. And like you can do this no matter what energy type in human design you are, but as a projector or a non-sacral in general, a manifester or a reflector even, like allocating energy to the tasks that you have to do in the day is key to um, sustainability for us like we work at lightning speed but we need a lot of rest because we can't do it all of the time so just a fun tip for you non-sacrals out there if you're a non-sacral let me know in the comments because I love connecting with you know people who have similar experience with that so let me know I know there's a couple of you who've reached out before and I love hearing from you so thank you so much for that okay bye wait I know I'm talking a lot in this vlog, but I wanted to tell you guys about this technique that I've been using for emotional clearing. It's called emotional resonance clearing. And basically it is utilizing the Chinese meridian systems and clearing out like emotional pathologies from our physical body. So like if you don't know already, all like your limitations, your limiting, limiting beliefs, your traumas, your ancestral traumas, your traumas from past lives. And when I say trauma, I don't necessarily mean like some big event, like it can just be something that you've attached an emotional meaning to they all are stored in like your physical body and so when we do emotional clearing it's like clearing out those things from your physical body because doing it just from your mind like your mindset stuff is not enough to actually like have long lasting and really deep transformation so anyway i've been using erc and i'm just about to do a pre-recorded erc training that i missed from yesterday i'm just talking about this because i feel like it's definitely been the missing puzzle piece to my personal growth and spiritual growth journey and i wanted to share it with you guys so if you are interested in learning it for yourself it is so so powerful i will leave the link to the course that you can learn it in it's like i think it's 222 us dollars so basically how it works is you select something that you want to clear so right now laura is leading us through a clear on financial slavery consciousness because i'm in a wealth a wealth program 
a wealth clearing program. So then she's testing in to see which of the five elements in five element theory, which is a Chinese medicine philosophy, which element we need to clear in. So she's using muscle testing and then she's just found that it's in fire. So now she's so testing this is the pericardium in point. to see which point. So it's the pericardium point, which is here on the hand. And you do both. So this is the point here. No, so it's in not. The two wrists. <laughs> it's in here. About where you take your pulse. And it always hurts. Um, and it's on oh both my God. wrists. Not so a lot. So we're just going to rub those bit. points as we go through the clearing call. So you just rub really them and it clears out the pathology or the pattern of emotion that we're just to about to do. any remnants within the body of financial slavery consciousness and what that means for you. So now she's going to test in and find which emotional pathology pattern is there. It's super interesting. Oh my god, I love it. The emotion is exposed or unprotected. So that's what that's the core emotion that we're clearing out. I love this stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Makes me so excited. My life has changed so much since I've been doing it. Creating issues with closeness and intimacy. So then the response to the issue is clowning or like joking around. And then the ultimate question that we ask as a result is how can I truly relate to others? So the pattern in relation to emotional, wait, what was it? Financial slavery consciousness is the the core emotion is unprotected or like open creating issues with closeness and intimacy wow i'm doing well to remember this our response as the person who's carrying this is to be clowning or like joking around and then ultimately we're asking the question how can i truly relate to others and then so we're rubbing the points of well in this case it's the pericardium which is in the fire element and as we're rubbing those points, we're literally clearing out that entire pattern out of our bodies. How fucking cool is that? Oh my God. So if you want to learn it, I would highly recommend. So guys, that's the vlog. I'm gonna eat my soup, go to bed, chill out. And I will see you in the next video. If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe and the like button. It really helps me grow my channel. Um, and I love you all. Bye.